Van life seems great, but what if you need medical care on the road? Say you have an accident or you need to see a doctor or maybe even urgent surgery. This is something we get asked about a lot and honestly, we have never been able to answer. That is up until now. Good morning folks and welcome back. We're still in Albufeira, still at the same campsite that we've been at for a lifetime now. Uh, we was meant to be back on the road uh, several days ago at the very latest, but we're still here this morning. We are going to the hospital. I'm just waiting for Emily. She's the one that's got the appointment, but we've got a car and it is a beautiful car. Um, you'll notice it's right hand drive because I think it's originally from the UK. It's 20 something years old. Um, it's got an ashtray, it's got a cassette player. It's like what was my first car when I first started driving. So I'm very excited. I've just noticed, check this out. Sunroof. Look at that, a posh one as well, because it's still got the cover and everything. Um, our good friends, Carol and Mi Caroline and Mike, it's not my car, it's their car. They've kindly lent it to us. They lent us their bikes last week. Oh. We didn't crash them, so they said, yep, we trust you now to drive the car. Uh, so we're going to take the car up to the hospital. And here she comes. You ready? Yep, yeah, ready. Let's get this over with. Listen to a roar. I don't know why, but the window just opened. I, I, I think they said, don't touch the windows. Did they? <laughs> ah! Yeah, your, your window. Your window's dodgy, apparently. Oh, okay. Well, we'll fix that back. <laughs> Come first. On. Right, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's fixed, it's fixed, it's fixed. Carolina, fix the window. The windows are fine. fine. The windows are fine. <laughs> oh, you're such a dude. I'm trying to fix the windows and you reverse into the bins. <laughs> oh, she drives like a dream. <laughs> I'm not even joking. <laughs> Although I will say I can make that turn in the van. So. I was literally I'm like, Louise. Is it giving you a workout? No, it's power, power, power well, assist. power assisted, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Right, drive on the right. Here we go. We've made a bit of an error. Originally, we was gonna borrow the bikes, the cycles of the hospital, because it's not far from the campsite. Good job we didn't, because Emily's just realized on the paperwork, uh, the appointment's at a completely different hospital, which is like 25 minutes drive away. So thank God, oh my God. we agreed to get the car. And I don't know who's more nervous right now, you, because you might have to have minor surgery and we might be going to the wrong hospital, or me, because I'm driving someone else's car. I reckon you actually. In Portugal though, interestingly enough, the car is insured and then anyone can drive it. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? It is, yeah. Yeah, handy for us today. Yeah, very handy. Or we'd be pedaling like mad with pedal assist on Max <laughs> trying to get to this bloody hospital appointment. And you'd be pedaling a long way back with potentially a hole in your leg. Oh my God, hilarious. Always check the paperwork. Your destination is on the left. You're gonna run in and check we're at the right place. Yes. Go, 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 go. <laughs> go, Annika, go. <laughs> I'll quickly fill you in as quick as I can. It's all a bit rushed now, because uh, I don't even know if you know what's going on. But basically, Emily's got a, uh, a mole on her leg. It wasn't there at all a couple of years ago. And then it just kind of appeared and grew. Got it checked a long time back, said it was absolutely fine, just monitor it. And then all of a sudden, in the last few days, or the last couple of weeks, really, it's just blown up and it's now 15 millimeters long it's funny colors sticking right up uh, a bit uncomfortable so yeah we got it checked out when did we get it checked out we got it checked out here in portugal they gave us an emergency appointment so we went to the hospital and then they've made us this appointment here at the same time we contacted the nhs sent them photos and they said the same you need to get it seen asap they've also made her an appointment at the end of next week now the problem we've got is at the end of next week that's when we're due to get the ferry back to ireland and we can't change our ferry booking because we need a pet cabin and it's just too late now and we can't book it later because then we'll have run out of schengen day so in an ideal world Hopefully, they're just going to whip it off and send it off for a biopsy here. If not, I'll have to quickly whiz up to Santander. Emily will get a flight home to the UK, get it seen to there, and I will possibly have to do the ferry by myself with the cat, the dog, carrying all the cat food, the cat litter, dog food, so whilst being very seasick. So in an ideal world, they do it here. If not, Emily will fly home, get it seen to there, and then hopefully 
she'll be able to fly back but it's very very tight so I don't know if she'll be able to fly the day after she's had it whipped off so it's all a bit up in the air but yeah <laughs> we'll see how it goes you can only lock the car with the key on the passenger side it's a quirk of an old vehicle I absolutely love it right where's this hospital A few moments later. Mission success, we're at the correct hospital. I don't like filming it inside hospital, so um, yeah, I'm gonna go and dump the camera in the car. I don't know how long the wait will be. It looks like a private clinic, so maybe it'll be quite quick, you never know. And yeah, we'll fill you in in a bit. Eventually. success uh, not only have we sorted out Emily's medical problem we've also got some heavy shopping because we've got a car <laughs> so up until recently we've been having to walk up to the Lidl which is like 40 minute walk from the campsite and carry all the stuff yeah. like cat litter cat food so yeah good news on that but also good news you're getting your mole whipped off aren't you I am it's been whipped off in what two days yeah a couple of days time so it's going to make it tight for us getting back to the ferry mm -hmm. but that's going to be a lot easier than you getting a flight home and getting yeah. it done and then flying back or not flying back yeah, or whatever so exactly and I, I must admit like some people are always apprehensive about having things done in different countries aren't they but so far it's been it's been really really good and he spoke really good English he even worked in Newcastle back home he and did, stuff didn't yeah. he so yeah although he did say he struggled with the uh, Newcastle accent <laughs> <laughs> but yeah really brilliant it cost us 70 euros for the consultation the other day uh 80 euros for, for this one today and then 150 euros for him to whip it off and do a biopsy which i will get the results in two weeks 10 to 15 days you'll get the results he said so yeah, yeah. super simple and he's going to email the results straight to you yeah and then um yeah we'll go from there yeah yeah, so Perfect. back to the site? Yes, back to the back site. To our... <laughs> back to <laughs> We've been trying to leave this campsite for weeks. But, um... Back to the site and paying for more days. <laughs> A few more days of fun in the sun. Oh, okay. sh we're going to need fuel. Uh, oh, I'm minute. sure Caroline and Mike said it's diesel. You sure I'm not allowed to touch these windows because it's flipping warm? <laughs> Why can't I find it? Whenever you want to find Can something. you do a WhatsApp, uh, an Instagram call? Just type in it. So it's not top. coming up. That's what I was just doing. Have you got your hat off? Yeah, but camera? luckily the camera's just fouled and it's <sighs> gone to a black screen with a signal lost transmission. So <laughs> yes. Oh, it's back! Head east towards Rua Dia Lusota. On the right, Louise, on the right. What are you more worried about? Your minor surgery or the fact you can't have breakfast? Oh Louise, I'm so hungry already. <laughs> Just let me shave off. You can't have it. <laughs> You're so out of order. I always have breakfast. Good morning, folks. Today is surgery day or minor, minor procedure day. Minor procedure, yes, not surgery, Louise. Because uh, Emily's never ever had um, any kind of anaesthetic before. You, they recommended that you don't eat or drink anything before we go. Now the procedure's like in the morning, so you're going to be absolutely fine. Oh yeah, definitely, but... But she's trying to take over my Y foods. Now, for those of you that aren't in the know, which by now can't really be many of you, this isn't a drink, this is a full meal replacement in a drink. So it's got everything in it that your body needs to keep you full up for hours and hours. <laughs> what are you doing? Let me just have a little bit. Right, have a walk your dog. <laughs> So in this mighty little bottle, there is a full 500 calorie meal and it is full of everything you need. There's macronutrients, micronutrients, vitamins, minerals. It's lactose free, gluten free. They even do a vegan range, which is great for Emily. This is the Happy Banana and it is by far my favorite flavor. Now we all know that if left to my own devices, I am far too lazy to make myself a healthy breakfast. So that's where this stuff comes in perfectly. I haven't got to think about buying ingredients beforehand. I can literally just grab this out the cupboard and go and know that I'm getting something that's gonna not only keep me full up for a good few hours, but it's actually good for me. And cherry on top, it tastes amazing. I can't tell you how good these shakes are. If you wanna try it for yourself, then go to the link in the description or use the little code that's coming up on the screen now and give maybe one of the taster packs a go. I can't recommend it highly enough. It has got me through for years now. I absolutely love it. Right, I'm gonna get dressed. Emily hopefully will be back fairly soon and then we're gonna get the show on the road. I think we're gonna take the car again and go up and get this Thing whipped off of Emily's leg. Hey, 
How are you feeling? Nervous. Nervous? Have you had your nervous poo? Yeah, I've had my nervous poo, but I expect there'll be another one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be absolutely fine. Oh, yeah, but it's just because I've never had to have anything like this. So I'm a little bit nervous for the fact that I'm going to be awake and someone's cutting at my skin. <laughs> so obviously I know there's numbing like needles and stuff, but yeah, that just feels a little bit freaky to me. I'm, yeah, I'm a little bit freaked out. Today's appointment is at the local hospital in Albufeira, so it's only it's walking distance away. But because you might be a little bit um, poorly on the way back, <laughs> uh, Caroline's kind of in her car again, so we should be there any second. If you want more than to stay alive. Oh, can it? Yeah. Well, this one then. New beauty. It's not like going to bloody Medway, is it? And it's free, I think. Beautiful. Right, well, we're an hour early. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'll just sit and wait, shall we? <laughs> we'll go and get your book in, you never know. Oh, can you lock it? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Having never had any kind of procedure like this before, I was feeling a little nervous. This didn't improve when, to my surprise, I was put in a surgical gown. What if they'd put me in for the wrong thing and were about to chop off my leg by mistake? Now this little get up doesn't make you feel nervous at all, does it? Oh my God. So I've had to come in and get, get changed and wait here and then they're gonna come and take me in. So, yeah. After a bit of a wait, the surgical room doors reopened. In spite of Emily's fears, all was good. I'd recognised those little hobbit feet anywhere. With just the dressing on her leg, she'd got through the whole thing with all of her limbs intact. Done. Yes. How yeah. was it? Uh, do you know what? It was really, it was fine. It was all right. I, had, I was panicking over nothing because I'm a drama queen. <laughs> <laughs> but I think the worst part was, um, I, oh, I think, I know, the worst part was the injection to numb it. But even then, like because he has to numb it so many times and it was starting to get numb, it was fine. And then I didn't feel nothing. No? Absolutely nothing. And he was so lovely and the nurses were lovely and they were chatting to me all the time. Yeah. It was, it was easy breezy. Um, she's not allowed to walk now for <clears throat> eight days, Eight is it? days, Eight yes. days of rest and recuperation. So it's a good job we didn't fly back um, because yep. since we last saw you, we've now got an actual appointment with the NHS, which would have been uh, <clears throat> three days before we get on our ferry or two days before we get on our ferry, something like yeah, that. Yeah, three days, yeah. So that would have been fine. You would have flown out, but then flying back the day after would have been a bit of a yeah. I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't think I would have been able to do that. Yeah. So now you can recover. <clears throat> recover. And the worst part about it is, I can't shower until Monday. And I didn't wash my hair <laughs> in preparation for this. So it's over the sink we go. Yeah, we'll take you back to the campsite, get your head washed over the sink. I've got to say, the Portuguese <clears throat> health service have been amazing. All right, yes, we're paying for it. And the prices were a bit different. The whole thing, doctor's appointment, uh, the initial consultation, the today the removal and yeah. sending it off for the biopsy, in total 400 euros, which yeah. would be like 300 and something quid, I'll put it on the screen, so, so, so cheap. And obviously if you've got insurance, you can claim for things like yeah. this on the insurance. And so quick as well. Bear in mind that I went to the doctor's We went on, on Monday. On Monday morning, and then... Consulting on the Wednesday, and then off on the Friday. Operation, yeah today on the Friday yeah. so you can't grumble at that speed that is insanely quick and they were really good because they did initially want to give you an appointment a little bit later yes. but we explained our situation <clears throat> and he went out of his way to find us an appointment for today didn't he yeah so. this is it and he did say normally if you was going to go private in the UK on the consultation they would try and take it off then but they just didn't have that set up over here you have to come and have it in like a hospital don't you yes so if we'd gone to NHS you probably would have had it removed in mm -hmm. a, a, just under a week's time or something but yeah yeah, so we can't we can't grumble at that. No, no, and honestly, 
I'm getting out a dog walking for like the next eight days. Yeah, no dog walking for you. <laughs> oh, no, I love like walking my Rudy Doody. No exploring for you. No exploring, no. Uh, but now we'll have to get something to eat because I've already been informed by you in the hospital that we need to get food immediately. I'm hungry. Alright, how are we going to do this? Well, this digital walk wasn't problem first, really. I feel like you, when you take AJ and Bob up, you're getting all my stuff off, so I don't get so quiet. Shut up. Alright, I shall protect myself from potential water spillages. Oh, you spill it. Is that the right temperature? Bring it in. Just pull your jets. Don't get it on the leg, Louise. Your leg's miles away, it's under the flipping sink. Don't get it on the leg. I'm nowhere near your neck. <laughs> For God's sake. Yeah, but when I do it, the water goes everywhere. Yeah, when you do it, the water goes everywhere. Don't drip it on your leg. <laughs> Why is there no clock? <laughs> they take all the plugs away so people don't need them for their caravans. Tell you what, if I can't claim carer's allowance for this, I don't know what I can. Why? <laughs> that's it, that's it. Yeah, yeah, a lot less messy with two of yours. Oh, you, um, you actually was useful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> That's okay. Only just now when I was driving you around uh, Portugal to get your legs in. So. <laughs> just now, Louise. <laughs> you are not going to cope with eight days that go to this game. <laughs> you know that, right? I give you three days before you're like, oh, fuck this, and you just go ready to sleep. <laughs> you know what I've done with steps? Right, that start. Is that because of where my stitches are, <laughs> Louise? The next day, after almost two whole months of living on this campsite in southern Portugal, we were finally getting back on the road. I wouldn't do that because people moan that I put my leg up and it's dangerous. Yeah, I know, but you've had a massive operation, Bye. so you need to recover properly. God, just sat there, Louise. <laughs> Emily. Don't start with me. I've had a piece of skin removed. <laughs> she said to me last, like, you know the people that lose the legs and they've got like phantom limbs? She's got phantom mould apparently. That is a <laughs> With Emily out of commission for at least the next few days, we drove as far north as AJ would allow. By the time the dressing was ready to come off, we'd made it two thirds of the way up through Portugal. Do you think I'll need scissors or just pull it? Just I don't like any of them options actually. I'll just rip it off. Uh, we've arrived at a cracking little park up. Uh, we're just north of Garda, Guarda, somewhere, don't ask me because we just kept driving. Uh, it's got really hot. All of a sudden it's like 25 degrees, too hot for us. We were getting temperatures of about 19 degrees on average, yep. weren't we? And now all of a sudden 25, way too hot. So we're trying to get north. This park up's great though, because it's got showers, hot showers. It's got a water tap on every pitch. There's toilets, so uh, there's emptying and all that kind of jazz. So yeah, and it's all completely free. So thank you very much to Portugal for this one. It's a cracker. Um, when I said earlier, or some point in this video, I've got <laughs> confused about what's going on. Um, I said driving time was tight. Now. We've got plenty of time to get up there in days, haven't we? Like yes, there's we have. enough days to do the driving, but what I mean is there's no margin for error. So I like to have a bit more time. Mm -hmm. I like, you know, in case of a breakdown, a problem with the van, obviously there's weekend days in all of that. So you can't always get these things fixed straight away. And then if we need to faff around waiting for a vet's appointment for AJ for his wormer, but I think we're gonna make it, aren't we? Yeah, I think we'll be all right. I think we'll be just fine. Now, anyway, this uh, is time for the uh, bandage to come off. You're very excited, aren't you? I am, I really wanna see what it looks like, cause I did not look <laughs> when I was having it done. <laughs> Let's just get that out there now. That was not gonna happen. And just to add to the suspense, you've not moved for three days, is it now? Yep, three days. I've done all everything. I've done all the dog walking, all the driving, everything. And if we get this off and it's one flipping <laughs> stitch, then I'm not gonna be impressed. <laughs> Yeah, but it was doctor's orders. It was even written on paper. The doctor said so. Yeah, she's been milking it, folks. She's been milking it. <laughs> what was that? You're panicking now that there's going to be no stitches. <laughs> You're shitting yourself now, aren't you? You're going to look like a weakling. <laughs> no, because Louise, it's not... Right, 
let me tell you something. It's not like I haven't been in pain or anything, but the doctor said I had to do minimal walking, and it's even written on my little discharge paper that I needed to rest. Up. I haven't been in pain. We've had to swap <laughs> sides every night in the bed because it's been, oh, 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 no, my leg, my, my leg. That's because of some uses my legs as like a launch pad that's why one other thing that's probably worth adding it's been quite easy to manage hasn't it in the van yes uh, the only problem for us is we've got a dog a very excited dog so whenever you come back to the van or when you get up in the morning he's round your feet like anyone that's had a dog will know they're constantly under your feet and like Emily just said summer pounces on Emily's legs <laughs> at four o'clock in the morning to get fed so that's been a bit yes. difficult but because there's two of us it's easy because I can take AJ away while you sort yourself out and then it's not been yeah. too bad but if you was doing this on your own with a dog it might be tricky um or if you it was on your own and that's all the driving would you be allowed to drive yeah i reckon so it's, right let me just say it's just because it's on the shin so the reason why i've had to like stay still and stuff is because it's on the shin so if you do this you can see that that muscle goes up and down there so you're constantly <laughs> pulling which, which muscle <laughs> <laughs> which, which big shin muscle show us again <laughs> it's funny <laughs> I tell you what, you're such a tear. Wait till that camera's off. Alright, ready? Yeah. Can you see the hairs on my legs? <laughs> yeah. The hairs on your legs were worse when I took the little footage of the uh, <laughs> of the mole before it was removed. Oh, freaks me out the way he's freaks weirds me out. We've not even got to it yet. Yeah. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> Can we get it going? But shh. Ah, oh, this one's stuck on good. But get off. It's got more tape. Oh, it's a major surgery you've had, isn't it? <laughs> I tell you what, Louise. Big up, it was. But right, you're not even funny. Oh, it makes me feel sick just to <laughs> try to do it. Stuff it. I can't do it. <laughs> I'm going to come from the other angle now. <laughs> what hurt more, the operation or the plaster removal? <laughs> the I plaster. know what's taking longer. But <laughs> Do you know what? I watch so much like weird stuff on TV and like on reels and TikToks and all sorts of things like people pimples and this and that but now that I've had something done to me it weirds me out weirds me out Louise oh my god it's like um past the parcel only less exciting it's <laughs> <laughs> another one there's a lot of tape we'll get them ones off first. <laughs> it's gonna be like these big ones <laughs> It's going to be like Russian dolls. <laughs> <laughs> one stitch. My money's on one stitch. It will be nice when you can shave your legs again, though, because it won't be like going to bed with, like, sandpaper. I do think, though, the, the tiny little mole you had, you could have shaved the rest of your legs. And certainly the other leg. <laughs> <laughs> What's that one of them things you put in your mouth um, at the dentist? Oh, I've got a few stitches, Louise. <laughs> You're really... Ooh! That is a good few stitches, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, I'll let you off. That's a proper injury, that is. Sliced and diced, Louise. That's more than what I thought, you know. Are you happy with that one? Are you happy with that one? Well, that's what I mean. Is, are you happy there's such a big, <laughs> big incision? Now you've made such a big drama out of it. Right. I did not make a big drama. <laughs> I was following doctor's orders, and you know I don't like to break the rules. This bit looks a bit weird. I don't know what you've done there. <laughs> Well, that's because, like you said, it is tight, so he's had to pull it tight because you haven't got a lot of skin there to start with, and you are a bit swollen around there, yeah, around it as well. Yeah, Ugh. <laughs> got it elevated? I've got it elevated. Well, it's still swollen, it is still swollen, but it doesn't hurt, you say. No, oh, good job you've got plenty of stitches though, because we've got to redress it. We have to go and buy a dressing, and this is the dressing that really brought that's as big as no, your leg. It's the, <laughs> it's the only size the pharmacy had. Sod off, you thought you'd had like a leg removal. Right. So we've got this massive dressing to go back on, but you're going to let some air get to it first. Yeah, I'm going to let a little bit of air get to it. And the other reason why I'm going to put the dressing back on is again because of Summer, <laughs> and she can't be trusted not to slit them bad boys open or like hairs and things like like getting in there because obviously this one's having to do the cleaning now so <laughs> so it's not clean basically <laughs> it was fairly easy if you've got a medical problem and lots of people like i said right at the beginning lots of people ask us about how to deal with medical problems abroad we've never had to do it this is the first time mm -hmm. all we can say is in portugal it's been really easy yeah it was made much easier by the fact we had uh, caroline and mike's car to use it really it? did yeah yeah but it was doable in the van it's just parking and we 
we got a dog so we'd have to worry about leaving the dog in the van and it getting too hot and things like that so it was easier with a car but you could do it quite easily in the yes, van or using yes. taxis uh, the whole system was a breeze like i say five days from original appointment to have it off yeah um, we can't say for other countries but i've heard france is good spain yeah. is good so this side of europe certainly it's more than easy enough to deal with isn't it yeah yeah and honestly absolutely brilliant i cannot like like they were just amazing weren't they they were um the reason we rang the nhs and didn't wait till we get the biggest problem for us is when it happened because we yep. was on our way home so we was like oh should we just wait till we get home but then the more you read about it and stuff old dr google i was thinking well if we wait till we get home at that point it would have been another two weeks till we got back then maybe like another i was expecting like three or four weeks for the nhs appointment then i'm thinking that's six weeks that we've left it for yeah actually the nhs was far quicker than i expected and it would have been a two-week wait with the nhs yeah it would have it? been a two-week wait with the nhs and that was actually quicker than i could get a private appointment when i was ringing up for private ones in you in the uk and in ireland as well and then when i spoke to the doctor obviously i'd sent him pictures over the to, nhs doctor. yes the nhs sorry the nhs doctor i sent him pictures over and i said to him i do have an appointment with like a consultant in portugal and he said to me because of what it looks like and how quickly it's changed go for the appointment with the the person in portugal and then obviously if they are able to take it off get it taken off then just give me a call back and i'll cancel the appointment and stuff like that so i think their main concern was just how quickly it had evolved and changed and the most important thing from both both countries was just to get it off get it off get the biopsy so the biopsy we can't give you the results yet it's going to be another couple of weeks yeah. but hopefully we'll be able to give you them results maybe uh, next sunday because we have hit 100,000 subscribers which is a huge deal isn't it so thank you all very very much for that and to celebrate as always with every milestone we're going to do a celebratory live so that will be sunday uh, the following sunday from today at eight o'clock at eight o'clock yeah, yeah. Eight okay. oh, eight eight o'clock uk again. time <laughs> <laughs> got stabbed about nine half nine <laughs> you'll be well rested because by then you've been sat on your ass for weeks whatever doctor's orders i'll show you my written piece of paper <laughs> is that everything have we waffled on enough now i think we've waffled on enough yeah. so again thank you ever so much for the 100k it does mean the world doesn't it, it if you really want to be part of the next 100k then uh, yeah hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this video um of our portuguese uh, medical drama then yeah give us a like or a comment or whatever oh that might be a good idea if anyone's had problems medical problems in other countries oh, yeah. let us know how easy or hard it was in the comments and then we can get like a good gauge of how difficult or easy it is and to deal with medical different countries and in things different like countries that, yeah. and yeah so let us know in the comments and on that note we will see you all on sunday eight o'clock or if you can't watch it eight it'll stay on the channel as a video anyway but we'll see you all then bye i'll be well rested, bye. We'll be well -rested. <laughs> i will be knackered <laughs>